Hi everyone, this is Kiri designing for Bramble Fox and for my layout today I'm using the Fab Perspectives from the September Fox Box along with the Pastel Hearts set and you can see I've picked out the awesome and the banners with friends and together on them. They're both they are all from the September Fox Box um, and I'm starting my layout here um, by deciding on the papers that I'm going to mount my um, photo and I'm using a square black and white photo for this one and I've picked out the Coco Vanilla Studio These Days collection. Now I particularly picked it out because I thought the um, papers were perfect with that awesome title uh, from the Fox Box. It was just the, the perfect colour um, and went lovely with the collection. So um, that's really where it started from. So um, using that Coco Vanilla um, paper collection. Now I'm layering up my um, photo. I'm just adding some tissue paper and haven't realised they weren't all joined together. So um, just making sure they were secure. Um, I'm distressing the edges. Um, it's something that I always, well, pretty much always do. I just like that sort of added definition and texture that it gives um, to the layers, particularly when on top of other pattern papers. So I'm just working out um, where I'm going to add the next layer. And this square photo, I'm going to end up with quite a few layers. And you can see I've just pulled out um, a number of the actual the journaling cards that come with the collection. And I've just picked out four of them there that I'm going to add to the, um, to the um, back of the photo as well. So I'm just now going to sort of decide in which order they're going to layer. Um, the journaling cards are perfect actually for this sort of thing. I do really like adding them to um, behind my photos, just adds um, some difference in regards to colour, but also just a difference in regards to um, uh, um, texture and added definition. So um, they're all layered up now and you can see I've added the awesome title there. That is where it's going to go. Um, and I'm just looking to add in um, a couple of strips down to the left of the photo there just to draw the eye across. So I've pulled out um, that sort of crosshatch sort of gingham. Uh, multicolored strip and then just a piece of the um, sort of painted stripes one and just working out where that's going to go to. So I'm just going to cut those down a little bit and um, layer those layer those together as you can see there. Okay and then I pull in the um, other two perspectives, the friends and the together, just sort of looking where they're going. And then I pull out those, um, the fab collection of pastel hearts and pull a number of those out. And I'm really just sort of getting a feel for where things are going to go. Right, I've moved on already and I've now pulled out some of the um, floral ephemera and just starting to sort of place it around um, creating my design and um, just sort of looking at where things are going to go. So at this point in time, nothing's actually stuck down. Um, so I now start to just fussy cut around the uh, floral pieces, mainly because I don't like the wider white border that a lot of them have. So I'm just sort of trimming that down. And there we go. Um, that's all done now. So you can see I'm sort of, that's pretty much where I've got it. And I'm now going to start to stick it all down. So I've added just a little strip of that sort of crosshatch gingham up the top right there as well. And um, gluing down the flowers. I just use a white uh, Nouveau glue there. And for some of the flowers, I've just added a little bit of foam, sticky backed foam, just to um, give them a little bit of lift. Um, against the other. So just clustering those three flowers together and then adding the uh, black and black and white leaf cluster there as well and just figuring out where those other little pieces are going. There's a leaf in that. And then I'm actually now bringing in that together perspective from the September Fox Box. I obviously 
moved on from having it below the photo and I really like the way that it looked over the top of the cluster because it's got that darker colour it really draws the eye and you'll see I use the friends one down on the other cluster so it really brings um draws the eye down and towards the photo bringing out my trusty t-square just to make sure that it's straight I'm very particular about that so um and I just stuck that down with um glossy accents just to make sure it sticks really really well so I'm just taking um, the other cluster up and I'm going to get those stuck down. So I'm just distressing the edges of these two strips here before um, I get those stuck down. But I do stick them down flat and then just sort of lift the edges with my... Um, actually with the edge of my nail which is really bad um, so just getting those um, those put into position and then I can get um, the photo um, laid down and actually I counted up the number of layers I had on that photo and I had nine different um, pattern paper layers including the tissue paper that I added as well so quite a lot but I really love the look that it gives okay again just measuring up making sure it's straight so, oh, there I go, lifting up the edges there again, just because I really don't like everything too flat. Right, arranging the floral cluster and again, getting that one stuck down. Um, and that photo, I love it. It's only a recent photo, actually. And it was a night out in London, actually got to go out, out. Um, and it was with my team. Um, and it was the first time we'd all been out together since before March last year. So it was a really, really lovely evening, just spending time catching up with um, with all of them. We've all worked together for really quite a long time. So um, it was it was just really lovely seeing them in person. And so it was just spot on um, to go with the two sort of banner perspectives here, the Together and the Friends piece. And of course, we're along with that um, awesome title, which I will add to actually. So I do um, add some additional alphas to that to make my final um, title. There I'm just um, sticking down the Friends banner there with the glossy accent, just holding it down to make sure it's in position and nice and secure. And just finishing with these last few pieces of ephemera. So we've got just some of the leaves and the little sort of buds there, just popping those all, of it, all in. Um, and now I'm going to get that awesome stuck down. Um, I'm just on the end of it because it's going to be raised a bit. I'm just um, adding some um, sticky backed foam um, so that it just holds well. And, and then again, adding the glossy accents to make sure that it sticks down nice and firmly. Um, there we go. Now I do add some more embellishments, but I did faff around with the, the rest of the embellishments. Oh no, hold on a minute. I've forgotten. We're adding some more of those um, perspective. So I'm just popping on that little fussy cut butterfly and then these three um, heart designs from the Pastel Hearts collection and they're super cute and they're just perfect for adding um, a little bit of extra to your layout. So aha, uh -huh, here we I've moved on. As I said I faffed around a bit with the rest of the embellishments so I didn't make you watch me um, move them around a lot. And here we go as I said I added to the title so I'm going to add an awesome evening um, which perfectly described um, the night out that we had together um, in London so I'm using the matching alpha a little puffy alpha that goes with the Coco Vanilla Studio these days collection which was um, it's really pretty pastels and just were perfect against the awesome um, perspective there so I'll add that and then I'm going to add some journaling but I will move that on because it takes me a while to decide what how what I'm going to write and then I'm going to add just some white splatters and gold splatters but unfortunately it does cut off um, so sorry you missed that part of it but I do add white splatters and gold splatters so here we go the final layout and then we're going to see some close-ups close-ups of the lovely perspectives the together the awesome and the friends along with the little hearts. So thank you very much for watching. That is Kiri designing for Bramble Fox. See you next time.